Hi, welcome to Data Engineering. So today we are going to discuss about how to write a Hive UDF. So what is UDF? User defined function is what? UDF. So first of all, what what is function in Hive? So only if you know that, then only like uh, you will come to know what is UDF, that is what is user defined function. So first I will show you what is function is all about. So just I, I have just logged into my Hive. So you can run this query show functions. Okay, when you when you execute this, uh, I'm sorry, it's so functions. Okay, so when you execute this query, I will list all the predefined function that it has. So if you see here, min, max, uh, like UKs, and then hashing algorithm. So you have a lot of function that you use for columns, right? So for example, if you see here, uh, I will show you one example. Select UKs is a function, so which will convert lower case to upper case. Okay. Okay, if I give this, so I'll get Gautam in capital letter. So that means like this U case converts uh, a particular value in the given column to uppercase. So uh, this is just for testing. So any function that you call, we used to give only the column name, but I'm giving the value here. So the reason is I'm just doing a testing, but generally what we do is we used to do like this. So if you get confused, because sometimes people used to get confused, what is this for the function you are giving the value directly? Yeah, it will work, but just that is just for testing. Okay, so generally what we do, U case of the column name imagine name is my column name and then you have to give from table name okay so whatever the table is so you have to give like this so this is how uh, we used to use the function right but I'm not, uh, if you see in my first query I'm not giving any table name and also I'm not giving the column name I'm directly giving the value that is just for testing whether the particular function is working fine or not so all these functions what I've showed you here it's like predefined functions it's it's there within hive itself so I want to create our own my own function because my requirement doesn't fit with any of the function what hive gives so in that case whenever I write my own function the custom function is called user defined function so to do that I'm gonna write it in Java so with this I I'm, I'm, we can achieve that so here I've, I've just written this with Java and then I will tell you like I will show you how to create a project setup and what to do and then let's uh, have a walkthrough with the code and then we can run it so if you see here I created a project as MR and then I have my hive UDF dot Java within my package org sample hive training so uh, what you have to do two things you have to do after creating the project uh, you have to uh, add all the library files and then only uh, you will not get any error so if this libraries you have not added that means the dependency was not added you will get all errors in the import statements if you are using maven project then that is completely fine add hive dependency and hadoop dependency if you are not aware of maven or something like that that's completely fine you just create a folder lib in your uh, project like just right click new uh, go for folder and create a folder as lib whatever okay and then what libraries you have to add here so you have to add all Hadoop libraries so that so Hadoop libraries will be within your Hadoop uh, folder so you have to untar this Hadoop folder and then you can copy all the libraries and then you can paste it in the lib folder that is point number one and second you have to copy all the hive libraries so just go to hive folder and then uh, I, I will show you just list you will see a folder lib here so you have to I will just change my directory to lib ls and lstr so you will see a lot of jar files you have to add all these jar files and make sure that you are not copying any tar file or zip file or folders you have to exclude that so with if you copy all the jar files with some other format of uh, files other than jar then you will be getting an error okay in your project so make sure you are copying only the jar file so in between you will see some pom files and tar, tar files also please exclude it so copy all these jar files and paste it in the lib folder so you have to copy hadoop jar files and then hive jar file so once that is done right click your project go to properties and then java build path and choose library tab here and then add jars and expand this project map reduce and then you will see lib folder expand this and then select all the jar files I, I, you are not seeing the jar files because i have already done the build path that's why you are not able to see but you will be seeing all the jar files whatever you have added in the lib folder just select all the jar files from top to bottom and then click ok and finish if you see here see the palm file got added the, i haven't added it i have excluded it that's why it, it is showing here so if you have while copying itself please remove all these extra files just copy only, only the jar files okay so i've just copied so just click ok and then here ok so that you will see all the jar files got added here in the libraries okay so then you will not see any errors if you still see errors in the import statement and in the code then your dependency uh, addition with respect to the code was not properly done okay 
now i will explain you the code so i have uh, whatever the imports required i have and then i created a class as hive udf extends udf so this udf is a base class the source class which i have to extend and then i'm creating an object for test uh, data type uh, which is string but in MapReduce and Hive we use text right so text uh, result equal to new text and then I'm creating a method so this is one UDF so I have written two UDF within this class so one UDF so this is to convert uh, uppercase so you can ask me uppercase is already there in Hive right yeah it's there but just I want I'm, I'm just showing you how to do the UDF uh, with step by step but the logic can be anything you can even rewrite some other new logics as well okay and then I have one more uh, UDF in which like I used to pass two columns to my function and these two columns will be get concordinated and with the delimiter of hyphen so you can even ask me the question this can be done with the select query itself right yeah so I'm, I'm repeating again so I'm just trying to explain you how to implement the UDF and how to execute it but the logic whatever it's completely depends on you you have to uh, uh, rewrite the, remove this and have your own logic so uh, I, I have written some logics of custom hashing algorithms so that is something I have done and also like uh, converting the time date function the time date into a newer format which is not there in Hive function or you can't do with select query so such use cases I have written and uh, uh, the code I have written so this is just to make uh, things simple I'm, I'm going with this very uh, small example okay so I don't want you to confuse by showing all those uh, hashing codes or something like that so these logics are very simple for you to grab easily so that you will feel okay UDF is something good so UDF is something really needed so you don't uh, think like okay we can do everything with hive predefined function no it's not like that UDF is compulsory you go for any project and check uh, whether they are using UDF yes of course they will use and uh, not only in hive even in spark also we have written several UDFs and I will show you uh, in my upcoming video how to do the same with spark as well okay fine so uh, I will explain you what I have written with the uppercase thing. So I have created an uh, evaluate function. So this function name should be same. So you have to use always the evaluate function only. Don't give your own function name. Just always go with evaluate function. The return type is text. And here I am passing only one argument. And if the name what I am giving is equal to null and it has to return null. So that is completely fine. I am doing a, a null check and I am returning the null if the value of the column is null. And then I am I'm just creating a simple function that is string res equal to name dot the the name what I'm giving here to string to uppercase that's it and then I'm passing this uh, result to the text object whatever I created result and then I'm returning the result that's it so simple and then the second UDF as I told you already I'm concatenating like if you see this evaluate function uh, uh, accepts two argument that is two columns and here uh, integer dot two string ID column uh, iPhone name column so that is something like two columns if I give us an input for the function it has to concatenate these two column with iPhone as a delimiter okay and then I'm returning the result now you have to create the jar file for this so right click export and choose jar next and then you have to give the jar path and then click finish that's it so your jar will be get created so if you see here my jar is get created in this folder in desktop under jar folder i have this udf that's it so once this is done you can uh, you have to uh, follow few more steps to add this jar file with your hive and then you have to uh, run your own function so uh, here if you see i i'm 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 running my hive hive thing and hadoop cluster sorry hadoop thing and hive and all those things in a remote machine okay so it's an issue uh, it's a cloud ec2 machine so don't worry if uh, so you people uh, used to have within your own uh, means in your mission right so you don't want to follow this extra step what i'm going to do here so i'm using this winsap uh, tool to copy be my uh, files from local to my remote mission so this is something you don't want to do uh, if you are cluster and your working mission everything is a same mission means you don't want to do this you can skip this okay fine so I have copied my jar file you can see here so this is my uh, uh, cloud mission and this is uh, in left hand side what you see is my local uh, thing and then I, I can move it just like drag and drop here but it's already there so I will sh I will show you okay so this is my remote mission ls lstr so you can able to see my jar file right okay so now uh, you have to enter into okay let me get the path of my uh, jar file okay it's in home slash ubuntu okay get into hive and then next what you have to do is you have to add your jar in the hive shell okay this way add jar and then full path of your jar and the jar name okay enter so jar is it will it will be get added so just to check whether you if you you can see here the jar got added just to check whether your jar is added or not you can run this command list jar 
So it is there. Now what is the next step? You have to create a temporary function. So I am creating a function, create temporary function, my function. You can give any name because it's your own function, right? You can give any name as, so you have to give your package name dot class name. So okay, what is your package name in the code? So I'm sorry. Yep. Okay. So if you see here, this is my package name, org samples dot hive dot training. So I have the same in my uh, Eclipse org dot samples dot hive dot training and then your class name, which is hive UDF, right? So now uh, you have to create this function. Let, let me create this function in my uh, hive. Okay, the function got created. Now we have to test this function, whether it is working as expected or not. So select, you give your function name and then I'm gonna give the small case because I have two functions, right? So one function is to convert whatever given uh, con uh, letters to uppercase, enter. So it, it will convert, yeah, it's, it, it just got converted to uppercase. Now next, so uh, next is like, you have one more UDF, right? You have to give two columns and one integer column and then one uh, string column. So now this two columns will be get concatenated and it, it will have hyphen as a delimiter. So that is what my second UDF, see, you can see here. As I told you already, this can be achieved in select query itself, but I'm completely showing you how to do UDF step-by-step -step and how to uh, create your function with the uh, your own jar file and your own function in Hive. And one more thing, very important thing, this point you have to remember for sure. So what whatever the jar that I have added and whatever the function that you have created, it's temporary. So once you come out from the hive shell, your function, the jar file, what you have added will not be there. So very important, whenever you enter into this hive shell, you have to add. And most important thing is if you are, um, if you are if you are uh, select queries or in a file imagine in real time it will be like that only right so you will have all the insert and select query in a sql file dot hql or dot sql file and you will run this file in the production right so you have some select query with your own udf and very important uh, whatever the file whatever the file has that select query should also have this add jar and create temporary function make sure that you add these two lines along with your hql file because the whenever the file get executed this jar file and temporary function will be get created and then your select queries in the select query whatever the custom function that you use will work imagine you are not adding this but you are using uh, your function in the select query and that select query is in a hql file and when you run this hql file in the production it won't work because you haven't added these two in your uh, script file means in your hql file make sure wherever you the, the function that you are using as a file or as a command as a sql queries add these two lines part of it Okay, so don't forget that. Okay, so that's all with respect to the session and I hope you really like this session. If you really like this, please do subscribe to my channel and forward this to your friends and colleagues. So we do a lot of tech videos like uh, different programming languages, big data, data science in two languages, English and Tamil. And if you want to get the complete course of big data, I have given the playlist link in the description box. The playlist name is Big Data Course where you can find all the videos in order wise. Uh, you, can, you can learn all those stuff and with that, it's wide enough for you to become a big data developer as a data engineer and I will be keep on updating the playlist. I uh, will be adding more new new videos in an order. So please stay with that playlist. Thanks for watching.